it's been a little while. Well, I have this yummy hot coffee here. It's actually a latte. I made it with my Nespresso Virtue line and something else is going on right now. Listen. Do you hear that? It's really quiet. Nobody's here but me and you and this coffee this good coffee. So I thought I would take this opportunity to just sit and chat and kind of let you know what's going on and all of that good stuff because it's been a little while and I've missed you. Did you miss me? Maybe you didn't even know I left. Maybe you didn't. If you only follow along in the blog and you don't watch these through YouTube, then I haven't really been gone that long. I've taken two weeks off from blogging. Not that long. YouTube, different story. It's been probably a month maybe two months, I don't know, since I posted a vlog. But all this time that I haven't been posting, I've still been recording. So I have so many vlogs I want to actually create into vlogs and put up because I don't know, I mean, I do it for my family too and I wanna have those, those moments like in a little package that we can watch in the future. And I have some fun ones too. Another one of the reasons I haven't been around as much was I was invited to go to Arkansas to photograph some properties and we stayed for a few days and had a little vacation and um, I did a bunch of work out there and it was a pretty big project for me because it was several properties plus acreage um, that I needed to document and trying to edit those pictures with the boys. It was a bit, it was a bit rough, but I got it all finished and I'm so happy with how it turned out and I had such a wonderful experience. Do you want to see some of the pictures? I'll pop a couple in here so that you can see what I've been working on. Isn't it beautiful? It is so beautiful. Uh, I'm going to do a blog post on it, reviewing it. Um, that was part of one of the things I was going to do for them. So that'll be coming up in the blog. You can watch out for that as well. But I'll put information below um, where the cabins are in case you want to go check them out. But they're in Arkansas, so if you can drive to it or get to it, get to it, friends. Especially in the fall. Oh, my gosh. We went last fall. We are a little late in the season, so we missed all the foliage. But the property is covered. It's like trees as far as the eye can see. So I can't even imagine if you were to hit it at the right time during fall foliage. Oh, it'll be beautiful. Go, 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 go. You'll love it. Don and Gabe, the owners, amazing. Anyways, that's enough of that. We'll talk more about that later. So I was busy getting that all finished up. I wanted to make sure I put all my focus into that when I had free time. That's done. I'm mailing those pictures, their little thing off today. And um, what else has been going on? The boys got sick. Carson and Weston both got struck at the exact same time. That was rough. Carson runs these really high fevers when he gets sick. It's really scary. This last fever got up to 104.5. Oh, it was scary. So... We got both of them tested. Mm. Carson tested negative the first time, took him back again, tested positive the second time, took Weston in as well, got him tested, he tested positive as well, and then all craziness broke loose. Um, Weston, he's older, so I, he's three, so I can kind of communicate with him and let him know what's going on and kind of talk him through things. Carson, he was very verbal for his age. He's two. I mean, he's a chatterbox. He's he's our fiery one. He's got a bit of a temper on him, and he's a bit stubborn, and when he's sick, he doesn't want anybody messing with him. He doesn't want anybody touching him. He was hurting so bad. I can only imagine. I've had strep before, and it is awful. Um, and so he was, he was rough. It was like taking me back to those like colic newborn days. It was like a whoa, whoa, flashback, not sleeping. It was, yeah, we made it through. And about two weeks later, Carson got strep again, again. This time it wasn't as bad. We were freaking out because we were seeing some signs. So I actually took him to, um, Xenicare, is that what it's called? Like aftercare, whatever. Um, and he tested positive. So we got him on medicine pretty quick and his symptoms weren't as bad and he got over it a lot faster than he did the first time. And thank goodness Weston didn't get it this time. And double thank goodness Kent and I didn't get it either time. Kent's my husband in case you don't know. So there were some good that came out of the crazy, but it was a bit crazy for a couple weeks there. So that was going on. And also I've been working really hard to kind of get my house in check. I mean, it's not there yet, but I don't know. I don't know if it's because the age that my boys are or I'm just thinking about things differently. I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like I'm actually able to do stuff now. Like I can cook dinner when they're both home. I can fold laundry and do things that I haven't been able to do in a really long time without them needing to be away from me. So I'm trying to make the most of this time. And when they're playing nicely and they're not fighting, like I try to just dive into a project where I can get something knocked out. So I've been fighting the laundry struggle for a long time, probably a good 10 plus years. 
Um, and I just haven't been able to win it, y'all. I've tried so many things. I've looked on Pinterest. I've read blog posts. I thought I needed a schedule. Wash your clothes on Monday. Fold them on Tuesday. Put them away on, on Wednesday. Um, wash a load every other day. I mean, I've tried it all. I even hired a laundry service for a while because I could not keep up with it. And it was stressing the junk out of me. Always having a laundry room you can't walk in. We have our second floor has a laundry chute that drops down. Like, seeing the clothes, like... It was literally like a mountain from the ceiling into our laundry room from the laundry chute in the ceiling Not being able to see my laundry room floor never knowing where my stuff is if I want the shirt Is it clean? Is it not clean? Did I lose it? It was just always a struggle So I started thinking differently about it. I was like, dude, I don't need I don't need schedule I don't need like certain days to do stuff just do the stinking laundry when you need to do the stinking laundry So I've been making that a priority and guess what it is fabulous I don't feel stressed about it anymore. I can walk in my laundry I can see the floor of my laundry room. We have all the clothes put away and I just stay on top of it. So I've been making things like that more of a focus to try to get more of a system down now that I feel like I have a bit more freedom when the boys are home. Because before, again, I don't know if it was my mindset or, or if it was just the age they were, I could not do a thing. I mean, it was all I could do just to make through the day to make sure they were okay and they were taken care of. You can forget like, meal planning, scheduling stuff, keeping the house. I mean, it just wasn't even, it wasn't happening. So I've been working on that. Um, the house has been really great. We've been doing a good job keeping that clean. I've been sitting on top of the dishes, the playroom. The only thing I'm still lacking on is our bedroom and our master bathroom uh, upstairs because nobody ever sees it. So I'm kind of, uh, it's kind of bad. So it's on the list. It's working its way down. I've just been making my house a main focus, but I've been spending a lot of time doing that. Um, let's see what else has been going on. I think that's it. Like, I've done some traveling. Um, Weston's out of school. I just dropped him off for his first, he's in a summer program. So he'll go to summer program, like, for a week, and then he has a week off. He goes a week on, a week off throughout summer, just so I can kind of, like, keep him used to going to school, because he really loves to be at home with me and Cars Cars. So it was actually a little bit hard. He wasn't happy to go today and a little bit upset. He had a new classroom and a new teacher than what he's used to. So it was a bit of an adjustment for him. But I think I think it'll be okay. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Um, but here's the deal. We're about we're getting ready to go back to Colorado. We go to Col we go to Colorado every summer, usually in August. Uh, this year we're going towards the beginning of August. We usually go towards the end of August. Um, so I have that trip coming up. But before that trip comes, I'm like, dude, I have got to get some of these vlogs done. I need to get caught up in my personal photo editing. So whenever I have free time to do stuff like that, I probably shouldn't be creating new content. I should be catching up on the content I haven't finished yet. So I'm going to start throwing some random vlogs up. You're going to see vlogs from Easter. You're going to see vlogs from um, our trip. Probably some flashback ones from Colorado last year that I still haven't edited. Um, if you're following on the blog, you'll see some pictures from our travels. I got to get some uh, cabin reviews up, so I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to be around, um, but I'm just going to be posting like kind of random content. So I hope, hopefully you're okay with that until I get caught back up. And then I want to do more new stuff with you guys. So I posted a, I posted a poll in my private Facebook group. If you're not on there yet, I will leave information here, how you can find it as well as below. And it's on the blog too. Um, it's different than a Facebook page. It's not like one that everybody can see and see what's going on. It's a private group. We have to add you. Um, so you just like submit a little request and if you're cool, we'll let you in. It's for uh, girls only. Okay. And um, we have a lot of fun over there. We do like Friday fellowship last week. What did we Friday fellowship about? Oh, we did Friday faves last week. Um, sometimes I let some of you guys take over for Friday fellowship. We have a lot of fun in there. Anyways, I posted a poll and I asked what you like seeing most from us. Do you like our blogs over on hangingwiththehueys.com or do you like our vlogs? And for a while, shoot y'all, it was like the vlogs were winning by a landslide. And then towards the end, like blogs kind of like made their way back up. Uh, the vlogs still won, like they are the champion, but there are some people who still enjoy the blog post. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of change my focus and kind of spend more time creating vlog content and a little bit less time creating blog content. The blog content's not going away. I've been blogging for nine years. I love that place and I think sometimes things come off better like in typed form than in spoken form. 
So I'll never let go of that. That will always be there. Um, but I've been taking a lot of pictures of the boys and uh, did I mention that I'm, I don't know. I, you probably know. That's probably why you're like, why are you going to Arkansas to take pictures of a cabin? Cause I'm a photographer, right? I, maybe you don't know that yet, but I, I am. So I take a lot of pictures of my boys. I'm getting ready to come back to work and booking a shooting schedule for fall. So I'm going to start using my blog a lot more for photography. So if you like that kind of stuff, um, with my boys, I do a lot of lifestyle kind of in the moment, natural stuff, uh, documenting our mundane days. So I'll, uh, I share that over there. I'm going to start sharing that a little bit more over there. Um, as well as my client sessions as I get those booked for fall. So if you like stuff like that, you can check that out over there and I will pop in with the occasional, like, let's just chat or these are some things I'm digging. These are some things I'm not digging kind of post, but here I think I'm going to try to make sure I'm vlogging a little bit more cause you guys really enjoy that. And some sit downs, maybe we can have coffee chats a little bit more frequently. So, um, those will be coming. I'm excited about that. It's kind of good to have like new direction to know what you guys are digging. Cause that helps me. Cause I want to obviously put out content that you're enjoying as well as me creating. So if you have any recommendations or tips or things that you want to see more from us, you can leave it in the comment below. You can hop over on the blog and let me know. You can shoot me an email. You can find me on Instagram um, and send me a direct message there. I'm all over the place. You can find me pretty much anywhere. So just let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I love connecting with you too. So I think that's pretty good. 12 minutes for like a random chat is pretty good for me. So um, I will be seeing you guys around. Look out for those travel vlogs. Oh my goodness. It is not a stinking vlog unless I burp on camera. I am so sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Ugh. It was real bad when I was pregnant and trying to do vlogs. That was real bad. Anyways, I almost made it to the end too. Um, be on the lookout for me. Hopefully that burp didn't scare you away because there probably will be other ones just to let you know. Okay. I do that. I'm, I'm real. You know, it happens. Um, and I will see you on Instagram and all oh, Facebook group. Come join us in the Facebook group. Find me down below. Information is below. Blog subs below. You know the drill. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Okay. I will see you guys around. Hope you're having a really great day. Bye. Okay, just in case you don't believe me with the whole like staying on top of stuff, look, <gasps> it is picked up. And I did not pick up for you guys. I didn't. My shoes are on the floor, but that's because I was videoing right there and I took them off so that I was comfy. And my kitchen. And this is the best part. Dun, 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 dun. My laundry room. Oh, y'all, it feels good. I decorated this laundry room ages ago and it is so out of date. Um, but I've never really gotten to enjoy it because usually this floor is full of clothes. Here's the mountain I was talking to you about. This comes down from here and then it forms this big mountain. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to show you. Just in case you're like, oh yeah, you're keeping up with your housework, whatever. I really am and it feels so good. Mm. This is a really good coffee, but now I've just talked so much, it's not as hot as it was. <laughs>